What's up everyone, my name is Mike, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about the Doc Ock First Appearance Premium Digital Collectible NFT on the VV platform being dropped shortly here. Let's get into this. So we're getting Doc Ock First Appearance on the VV platform, and in celebration of the 83rd year of Marvel, we're getting some metallic red editions of these collectibles, and they're going to be dropped throughout the year, VV has tweeted out. And it's been a long time since we've got a first appearance Marvel actual collectible here on Vivi. We have to go back all the way to Thor and that was a month or so ago that we actually got that. We have got I Am Groot 1 edition but that was not a first appearance. We also got Mr. Fantastic which was also not first appearance. So in terms of comparing this to something I guess we got to go back to Thor to be able to compare this to to be able to compare a first appearance to an actual first appearance. And we with this being a metallic red, who knows what that ultra rare is going to go for. But that secret rare animation really looks incredible. Job well done, Vivi, with that one. But with any drop that I'm going to be going for, I try to set a price prediction. This isn't necessarily something I stick to, but it's something that helps me take the emotion out of FOMOing into a certain collectible. I feel like if I make these price predictions, if it's below that price prediction in the aftermarket, I'm willing to pick it up to spend that money on that collectible. But if it's above it, perhaps I should just wait and see where those prices actually end up. So these are my price predictions. You do not have to follow them. You should not follow them. You should be creating your own price predictions. This is not financial advice. And you should be working on your own price predictions based on what you see in the market. I base my price predictions on previous collectibles, how they're doing in the market currently when this drop happens. So in saying that, these are very short-term price predictions. These are when the dust settles once everybody has picked up their collectible on the aftermarket and things have really settled down usually this is typically a few hours after a drop or so so with that being said let's get into the different editions and numbers for these we've got the uncommon all of these are going for a 50 gem list price and the uncommon has 7616 editions of course the first appearance and then we get the metallic red ultra rare i am a fan of red and this does look pretty cool to me with 3,616 editions. And then finally, we see the Secret Rare, and this one has an excellent animation. It looks really great, and with 1,616 editions, that is the Secret Rare for this drop. Now, with all this being said, Thor saw 30 plus thousand editions all throughout five different editions from Common all the way to Secret Rare. So, with a less supply of this character on the market, perhaps we'll see it just above where Thor is right now on the marketplace, especially since for the Secret Rare and Ultra Rare, we see less editions when compared to the Secret Rare and Ultra Rare Thor. That being said, the Ultra Rare Thor was animated, and the Ultra Rare Doc Ock here is not animated, but it is the metallic red, which could provide some sort of a value and increase the demand for that collectible, even though it is not animated. So perhaps that puts that at a level playing field when comparing the ultra rare animated Thor to the ultra rare Doc Ock metallic red version. But to be able to make a comparison here, we've got the Thor rare at 7,200 editions with also a 50 gem list price sitting at 18 gems in the market right now. So does that mean the uncommon Doc Ock with a similar amount of editions is going to sit at that 18 gem mark? Possibly, I do think it'll probably be closer to that 25 to 30 gem range because there are less total editions of Doc Ock, less supply in the market to fulfill the possible demand that is for this. And then moving on to the ultra rare, we see 4,400 editions of Thor, and that's an animated one there, like we said, and that's sitting at 52 gems in the market, just barely above retail. And Doc Ock has less editions for the Ultra Rare, it's also the Metallic Red, but not animated as we have said, with 3,616 editions. I think this one is going to sit somewhere in that 60 to 100 gem range, depending on how much the market really feels that Metallic Red is actually worth. It is also the first appearance of a Metallic Red collectible in this Marvel 83rd anniversary. 
And then the Thor Secret Rare saw 2200 editions. That's 600 more editions than the Doc Ock Secret Rare. There's also only one Doc Ock that is animated. Thor had two with the Ultra Rare and the Secret Rare. That sits currently at 275 gems. I think that Doc Ock could outperform that, possibly. Again, it depends more so on the market, how much the market really feels that Doc Ock is a character that they want to collect when compared to Thor, as well as how much they value those animated characters as well. Like I said, Thor had two animated collectible editions. That increases the amount of supply for those animated collectibles. The Secret Rare Thor also had 600 more editions than this Secret Rare. I think that this might outperform the Secret Rare Thor, but I, probably somewhere in that 250 to 300, maybe upwards of 350 when everything is said and done. The floors are no longer reserved, and this is what we would be looking at for these collectibles. Once again, create your own price predictions. Let me know what you think about my reasoning behind what I've just said here in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Anything that you want to leave in the comments, I should leave them there. Like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.